Mold illness is the variety of health problems that can occur from any type of mold exposure. Although a mold allergy is the most common problem caused by exposure to mold, mold can cause illness without an allergic reaction. Mold can also cause infections or irritant and toxic reactions. Infections caused by mold can lead to a variety of problems from flu-like symptoms to skin infections and even pneumonia. Mold toxicity is also an issue, and it is considered a chronic inflammatory response syndrome. Richie Shoemaker, MD, author of Surviving Mold, Life in the Era of Dangerous Buildings, defines CIRS as an acute and chronic, systemic inflammatory response acquired following exposure to the interior environment of a water-damaged building with resident toxigenic organisms, including, but not limited to fungi, bacteria, actinomycetes, and mycobacterium as well as inflammagens. These are the 11 most common symptoms of mold illness, brain fog, memory problems, trouble focusing, headaches, fatigue and weakness, unexplained muscle cramping, aches and pains or the joints, persistent nerve pain, numbness and tingling, eye problems like red eyes or light sensitivity, asthma and sinus problems like cough or shortness of breath, tremors and vertigo, digestive issues like change in appetite, diarrhea, nausea, abdominal pain, metallic taste in the mouth, temperature regulation or night sweats, excessive thirst and increased urination. A great natural treatment for mold allergy. If you have a mold allergy, there is a little known treatment strategy that Dr. Rapp describes as one of the best hidden secrets. It's called provocation neutralization. Provocation Neutralization offers allergy sufferers permanent relief with virtually no side effects, whether the allergy is to mold or something else. The success rate for this approach is very high, and you can receive the treatment at home. Provocation refers to provoking a change and neutralization refers to neutralizing the reaction caused by provocation. During provocation neutralization, a small amount of allergen is injected under your skin to produce a small bump called a wheel, and then you are monitored for a reaction. If you have a positive reaction, such as fatigue or headache, or a growth in the size of the wheel, then the allergen is neutralized with diluted injections of the same allergen. If you are interested in pursuing PN, the American Academy of Environmental Medicine has a list of physicians who are trained in this technique.